<laughs> hey there guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Robo Fett. Uh, today's gonna be a little different. Um, I'm gonna be uh, doing a lot of podcasts this week for uh, E3. I'm gonna be talking about uh, things that interest me or, inci- or excite me, uh, you know, exciting news that's coming out. Um, so basically, what has happened is um, they released uh, the beginning footage of Fallout 4, and I was never really on the Fallout 4 bandwagon. Um, I played out Fall- I played Fallout 3, I never played New Vegas. Um, I saw this footage, and it looks really, really good. Uh, and they start you off, you're in front of a mirror, um, it shows a man and it shows a husband and a wife, um, and it looks like uh, they're talking to each other, whatever, but no, that's actually how, <laughs> that's actually how you uh, customize your character. Uh, you click on the nose, the nose, they, they switch it through nose, it switch through ears, skin color, whatever, and then boom. If the wife comes over in front of the mirror, you can choose to play as a female or a male, you know, uh, which really upped the wow factor there at E3. And then you move out uh, and you talk to this little uh, floating robot, and he sounds just like John Cleese. Uh, I'm not sure if he is, but I'm sure there's a ton of you guys that are like, yeah, it is John Cleese. How do you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, I don't know, okay? I, it, it just sounds like John Cleese to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, the character customization, uh, all of it just looks so cool. A guy comes up to your front door, he's like, hey, you know, you uh, you want to customize your character some more? It's not what he says, but that's basically what happens. He's like conducting a survey, and it just turns, so it turns out that that's for your stats. And that goes into a menu that looks an awful lot like uh, the original. It's just like uh, the original games, you know, where you get to choose which parts of the body you shoot and stuff like that. The overall freedom of it just looks so great. When it comes to RPGs, Bethesda has got it in the bank, and it looks like they're about to do it again. Um, like I said, I wasn't really too excited about this franchise, but from what I just saw, it's really good, and you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to be going to get that game once it comes out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, just keep a lookout for future updates. As always, keep those Punisher hats on, and I'll talk to you later.